over to my left, on the other side, by Miss Fox, hailing from Ansonia, Connecticut, weighing in at 185 pounds, A.R. Fox! No. His opponent to my right, from Kalispell, Montana, bringing it up 187 pounds, Travis Flip Gordon! Let me ask you, surprised the AR Foxes are competing on tomorrow's Super Stack Mega Event. I'm surprised that Flip caught that boot. Whoa! This AR Fox main event again, winning the last Beyond Wrestling Live event. Life sucks and then you die. Life sucks and then you die. And there's certainly a huge outpour of support for AR Fox to be competing on American Ron tomorrow, but he's at the very least earned another main event spot here at the Secret Show against a competitor by the name of Travis Flipboard. And you put you put me on that tip. You put me on that tip. Is that an expression? I got a question for you. Who is more athletic? That is the question. That is the story. Well, check it out. You, or is it a, is it you've been in the ring with Flip and Flops, but it was a match that you had with Flip here at the Fifth Music Wrestling Camp Show, and you said, Colorado, you gotta check this kid out. Now, from what I understand, to give you a little backstory, this kid grew up in Montana. He's a gymnast, a mixed martial artist, and now a ghost. I'll say this. Well, oh, Rich Palladino's drunk. I think Rich Palladino's drunk. But I'll say this. Obviously, AR Fox is much better than Slim. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that Flip is more athletic. I'm gonna say. That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man, because I have spent the last few years saying that Air Fox is an Olympic caliber athlete, and he's just decided to apply his skill set to the world of professional wrestling. Oh, I've never seen AR Fox do that. Flip is athletic, and know what? He's about to set the real athletic right here, brother. Masawa S, big kick for Box. This is like a Kung Fu movie, Devil Colorado. Wow! And there are flips galore happening right now. There's a straight cross body. I did not like the noise the Air Fox's body made. And here's the inexperience of Flip. Flip's trying to get the adulation of the crowd. He's not taking advantage. Right, he's, he's, letting, he's letting the veteran. moment sink in. Right, he's letting the exactly. moment sink in because he just he's not he hasn't experienced this much. And that's Again, a game. Again, that's what I was So this kid's an MMA fighter. He's a gymnast. He grew up in Montana. He had his pick of any wrestling school in the country that he could have gone to, and he decided to train with Brian Fury in the New England Pro Wrestling Academy, especially after seeing how somebody like mm, Sasha Banks has done. Donovan Dijak. I mean, there's plenty of wrestlers that are lighting the scene on fire coming out of Fury's camp. And is it possible that Travis Flip Gordon is going to be the next one? But you want to know what Fox has got? He's got Foxy on his side. We've all seen Foxy get uh Taking a good look right now from the Fox. We've all seen Foxy on, get involved in, uh, and help a man out. Oh my God, he's so athletic, landing right on his feet out of the way. Staying one step ahead of Fox. 
Turning him inside out in the sunset flip variation. I actually taught that because I just let you know. Fish out of water. Wow, look at that inside. Coming up with the arm and the leg. Now reversing to that crucifix. Fox rolling out. What do you call that pin? Looks like a modified crucifix pin. I bet it's got a better name than that. <laughs> well, excuse me. That's called a bandera. And it looks like we're getting our first springboard here. Oh. And the experience. The experience. Beautiful AR Fox. How much more well-rounded of a wrestler is AR Fox now than when you first stepped in the ring with him at the CGW Wrestling oh School? Oh he gets better every time he gets in that ring, down in Colorado. But more than that, he's got Foxy in his corner. We all know what Foxy right. can do. Right, he's had a very sour disposition. You know, he used to say that Beyond Wrestling was one of his very favorite places to wrestle, but I think that losing that CLL title to Shinron is, uh, you know, it, it kind of knocked him down a peg, and he didn't react well. The thing with Fox is he's cocky, but you know what? He can't be cocky. Look what this guy could do. Oh. Think about it, though. You, I mean, and you know what? I don't, I don't know if this is something you've ever experienced, but in professional wrestling, oh, no. You're building momentum. You're building momentum. You're building momentum. You're building momentum. That's the story of A.R. Fox, and the first time he got knocked down a peg, the first thing that ever happened to him in wrestling that set him back is when Shinron beat him for that CLL title. That's a hard thing for that fall from grace. But if anything, I think that he's taking that to fuel himself to become a much more well-rounded, much more aggressive wrestler. I mean, he's almost a bit of a ring general these days. You can see the confidence and the way, because he's so athletic, that he can mix the high flying with all those other different styles. I mean, there's not a lot of other wrestlers right now that are doing what AR Fox does. Uh-oh. And it looks like the Bucks of Bell Foxy. A little smooch and a kick there. I mean, that's all the motivation I would need. <laughs> I haven't seen that one from Fox in a while. And I'll say this about Fox. Very nice guy outside the ring. Very calm disposition. But I think some people mistake that for weakness. And I think he's sick of that. All these promoters, all these guys taking advantage of boxing, he's sick of it. Well, you saw him just come back to CCW and he had that sour disposition that you saw in Beyond exactly. Wrestling. Can you tell me that strikes as coincidence? No, he hadn't been in CCW for a number of years. He's got his first opportunity to fucking blow the doors open and here he comes. I think he's sick of being the real nice guy. Now he wants to be, he wants to do whatever it takes to be the best. Now we're seeing Fox do that. And I like it, you know what I mean? I think, you know, some people may think it's a little uh, underhanded, but in this business, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a scummy business. Well, you know, the other thing too is something that uh, AR Fox, unfortunately, has had to withstand over the past couple months, or past, you know, even going more than a year when he had the match with Brian Myers. Oh, man. Oh, the hangman's DDT. But something that AR Fox has had to deal with is injuries, which is also something new in his career when he broke his hand wrestling Brian Myers at Beyond Wrestling Uncomfortable last year. And the first time you get that real big injury, you gotta change up your strategy after that. You realize, I mean, I honestly thought for years AR Fox was invincible. And it's kind of like, you see the chink in the armor, and at that point, it's like, if you want to have a long, successful wrestling career, you have to wrestle smarter, not harder. And, you know, going back to Joe and Janela, I don't want to harp on the kid. That's the difference between a Janela and an AR Fox. Oh, absolutely. That's why AR Fox has seen the success that he's seen. You know what I mean? But he's, he's got more years experience, too. Exactly. He's been able to learn from his mistakes. Tell me, man, when Janela cannot move his arms and legs tomorrow, he'll learn real fast. But you said it the best earlier. Fox. Olympic caliber athlete, a special athlete. He's the type of guy that we've seen him do things and can you believe he didn't get hurt? You know what I mean? Guys cannot watch Fox and wrestle like Fox. Yeah, but guys can't match him, but, but Gordon is, is giving him a good fight right here. And that's the MMA background. He's really good placing those kicks. You don't see a lot of high flyers that are as strong in their striking game as Flip Gordon is. And I'm not gonna lie. I knew this match was going on. I sent Flip Gordon two of his matches to AR Fox so that he could see what he's getting himself into. I sent him the match against DiJack. The match against you, and see, this is where he's fucking up right now, and AR Fox 
caught him in that DDT. And that has been the chink in this kid's armor. Slipping on those springboards. He loves going for those springboards. He likes to fly, but that's been his weakness. He's got to learn to pick his spots. If you can't do something every time, you should never do it again. He hasn't learned that yet. You ever see Fox slip on the ropes? I've never, never seen it yeah. once in my nope. life. And that's where he screwed up because Fox capitalized and drove him head first into the mat. I mean, look at him. You see somebody as well conditioned as him and his mouth is open. You can tell he's taking big, deep breaths. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Fox is just such a special athlete, such a special professional wrestler. And he's proven it right now. Foxy. Caught him with the tope. And we're gonna see the famous three dives. Oh. T gray to the outside. Crashed and burned. Ow! Oh! A special athlete Holy is AI Fox. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Well, maybe we did kind of fuck up by not putting him on American Rana. <laughs> And when Fox is healthy, when he can stay healthy, I don't think there's an athlete in the world that is on now his level. That kick flip. Oh no, he was looking at the ring post, took his eyes off his opponent for a split second. That was a nasty landing too for Fox there. Flip. What's he got in mind? Ow! That didn't stop it on. You can hear the impact. You know, one thing that people don't often talk about is the, the purpose of the rotations is you're building momentum, you're adding more momentum to the impact. You can come off the top rope with a splash, that's good, that's a lot of impact. If you're able to add the momentum of a 450 rotation to that splash, you're coming down with more than double the impact. Look at Foxy, she looks worried right now. Hand on her head, she's never seen a man in this much trouble. I'm surprised that Flip is doing this right now. Well, I was gonna say, let's talk about Flip Gordon a little bit more again. The He's dead! That guy in the front row can't even believe he's shaking, he can't even believe it. Hey, our Fox is laughing. Flip is dead, he is a dead man. You know, I don't even know if Fox needs to go to the 450 at this point. I think it's rudimentary after that brain buster. He's just having fun now. Oh, oh, oh. That's gotta be it. The sky is falling on Flip Gordon. And come on now. How is this kid kicking out after absolutely getting murdered? Because again, he uprooted his entire life from Montana. Okay, he's abandoned gymnastics, he's abandoned MMA to become a professional wrestler. He's moved across the entire country for this moment, for him to prove himself against the best high flyer in the world right now. I want to see what Flip Gordon's got. Yeah, Less teeth. Less teeth. Dangerous. The box is yeah. loving it. Oh my god. Fox is playing with his prey right now. Gordon's out. He's dead, and this crowd's in shock. Wait a minute. Oh, I mean, this is the same position we're used to seeing Fox's signature hold the low main pain. Oh, right. Incredible pain. Fox comes down right in front of us. Fox is hurt. Wait a minute. He's got to be careful here. We know that this is dangerous. Fox splash misses. Now completing the trifecta is AR Fox. His opponent slumped in the corner. I think he's looking for low main pain. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go on the here. Trip, and we, hey, we might be going to that low main. No! He's been watching his AR Fox matches too, I think. I sent him a couple AR Fox matches. Come on, man. Look at that 450. No water in the pool. You said it. And let's see if Fox can connect with his. These! Wait a minute! I'm gonna go on a limb 
here. This kid's athletic, but is he as tough as Fox? No, absolutely not. Air Fox is the rubber band man. He's showing me something, though. All the punishment he's taking, he's showing his Oh, feet. no, come on! Come on! Oh, win! That's a goddamn disgrace. I don't like it. It's a black eye in what's been an otherwise unbelievable night of wrestling for us. Fox, yeah, Fox proving that Fox is helping his career. Now, you know, you know Kevin Quinn does not like doing this right now. You gotta give it up for Flip, all the punishment he's took. That's a disgrace. Wait a minute. Where's where's Kevin Quinn going? I can't act like that. You gonna check the tape or something? I think he's gotta check the tape. No, no, Fox called him out. Fox called this kid back out. Wow. If he bring this, if he brings this kid out just to rub it in his face, I don't buy it for a second. I don't buy it for a second, and this kid, no matter how inexperienced he is, should know better than that. If he's smart, he would shake his ass. Ah, oh, man! I knew it. Again on the head. What a disgrace! Air Fox makes me absolutely sick. Fox is disgusting. No need for that. Kevin Quinn said it perfectly. Flip. Who is you, huh? Who's Flip, man? Who's Flip? Well, Kevin Quinn checking on Flip Gordon. Performance of a lifetime. I'm gonna say this. He might not be as tough as Fox, but he's damn close. He took some punishment tonight. What a show tonight.